Hey guys, before the video even begins, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that we now have a sponsor. And the cool thing is, is with the sponsor, we get a referral link. So if you go down to the link down below in the pinned comment, which of course is our referral link to Bray Tech, uh, these guys actually make really cool things. They make this thing right here, which is a, no joke, a 9mm blank adapter for the APS Thunderbee grenade. And when we finally get one of these things in, we'll be doing a full review on it and actually talking about it and basically how awesome it is. So please go down there to the pin comment down below, check out the referral link, and you guys using that link gives us kickback to basically keep doing what we're doing right now. So please, referral link down below. Now, on to the review! Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host here, Soft Al, coming at you from a vlog style instead of my usual setup. Uh, the biggest reason is because uh, I'm using the actual Kodak camera right now and not my phone. My phone, sadly, is giving me issues with its battery and charging, so yeah, that's just how it is. But I will work through it and, of course, do what I can. Uh, biggest reason is because I don't, I don't have a screen on top of this camera, so I can't exactly see what the camera sees, so yeah, until I do that, that's just how it is, so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> referral link down below, or PayPal, and, or Cash App down below also, later in the video we'll talk about that. Anyway though, so, I found a fan fiction, and it's perfect for Bat May, because the month of May is, of course, Bat May. Everything Batman related. And it is called, Why Aren't You Laughing? By Seductive Toga. And, uh, <laughs> well, I myself do not find the, uh, crazy, sadistic, vampire, uh, villain, uh, uh, uh blonde, uh, all that, uh, attractive, and instead go for more of the muscular woman. Uh, I, I can see why, uh, some people will be attracted to, uh, Toga from My Hero Academia. Speaking of which, this is a My Hero Academia fanfiction, and like I said, because it is Batman-themed, I can, of course, talk about it. So, Why Are You Laughing was something I read over the weekend, and it has potential. I say it has potential because the author obviously is basing this off of the Joaquin, a mixture of the Joaquin Phoenix Joker and, of course, Heath Ledger's Joker. Why do I say this? Because Izuka Midoriya becomes the Joker! <laughs> and sadly, again, there's some missed opportunities here in terms of the Jokers because it's pretty clear who the Joker is being based off of. The look is Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, or at least a combination of Joaquin Phoenix and of course Heath Ledger's Joker. Um, personality-wise, it is more of a Jack Nicholson, well, not even Jack Nicholson Joker, no. It, it is Izuka Midoriya, but with the combination of, like I said, Heath Ledger and, of course, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. Thank God, no Jared Leto. Now, understand, I don't have anything against Seductive Toga. I really don't. They even stated, when I made a comment about a perfect line from the original Tim Burton's Batman with Jack Nicholson's Joker in a moment in the fiction, they did say that they are not cultured enough, but uh, they at least thanked me for the, you know, suggestion. Um, I'm just going to say this right now, Seductive so Toga, go watch some OG Batman stuff. Like, go go watch frickin' Tim Burton's Batman with Jack Nicholson's Joker. Go watch, of course, the animated series with, he, with literally <laughs> Mark Hamill's Joker, a.k.a. Luke Skywalker's Joker. I will never acknowledge the later fucking sequel, sequel trilogy. I will never acknowledge it. I'll acknowledge some of the, 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 the prequel stuff, but I will never fucking acknowledge the actual goddamn thing uh, from Disney, the, the, the evil fucking mouse. Anyway, so, the sidetracking aside, what do I think of Why Aren't You Laughing? Like I said, it's got potential, because again, this is Izuka Midoriya, who basically just has one bad 
day. And the best part is that he starts out quirkless. And that could have worked if this was a, hey, he's quirkless, he's, he's more powerful because of this, he, he could have gone with the Jack Nicholson in Heath Ledger Joker, where even though he is quirkless, he is very organized. He is very much so deadly efficient. He is able to literally organize people together and he has, as Jack Nicholson's Joker says, And Bob, remember, you are my number one guy. He could have had his own Bob. Now, through the fiction, he does get quirks, yes, but he gets death strokes quirks meaning weapon mastery and great strength. This motherfucker literally gets death strokes, AKA Slade Wilson <laughs> uh, power. And my God, if it ain't fucking amazing, he, he does have, he does of course infiltrate UA, which again, I'm a little saddened by, but you know what? Just, I get it. You got to follow the plot. You got to play it safe. I completely understand that. But again, there were there was a moment where he literally has Bakugo, aka Kachan, on the ground and has what I can only which again some weapon errors, but you know what? I will let it fucking slide because it is the Joker. I love the Joker. I love Batman. I will let it fucking slide. Where literally he has him on the ground and instead of saying Tell me something. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? He says something completely else. Even though it would have made a lot more sense, would have been a nice, lovely callback to literally just Jack Nicholson's Joker. Now, another missed up. Now, one other thing he could have done is have the Heath Ledger Joker, or at least coming up, because right now we're just at the sports festival part of it. And I mean this when I say that going into the Yakuza thing, or at least with the whole League of Villains stuff, he could definitely play a lot more into the mixture of not only, of course, Heath Ledger's Joker, which is Chaos Incarnate, especially when they capture him, because let's face it, he's trying to play off the fact that Aizawa, a.k.a. Eraserhead, is the Batman of this universe. And if I had to give a specific Batman, it would be, of course, Michael Keaton's Batman, a.k.a. Tim Burton's Batman. What are you? I'm Batman. Oh yeah. That Batman. And he could literally use the interrogation scene from, of course, The Dark Knight, uh, or Christopher Nolan's Batman, with Heath Fletcher's Joker, where literally they bring him in, and he literally does the whole thing with Aizawa, because, again, he could, be, he could make it to where Izuka Midoriya doesn't respect All Might, but he respects Razorhead because... <laughs> I don't, don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you... You complete me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. That's basically... He completes him. Or, or you can have it to where maybe it's with the detective. The detective completes him. Because it's like, you know, again, you can have fun with this. You really can. And like I said, go watch some of the other Batmans. Be it the older Batmans, be it not, not the frickin' Jared Leto Joker fucking Suicide Squad bullshit. None of that. No. The, the honest-to-God good Joker stuff. Like, go look into it. Hell. Even look into Gotham with Jeremiah's Joker. That shit was fun. You can have, honest to God, a cult of Joker from, like, Gotham. Or, again, something along those lines where it's like... Again, pulling from the Dark Knight. Only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people... They'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. He could literally point out that society is... 
I, again, there's so much you could do with that, but moving on. When it comes to the other characters, Toga is essentially Harley Quinn. Now, if I had to choose a specific Harley Quinn, it would be the Batman the Animated Series Harley Quinn. And I don't mean Batman the New Adventures Harley Quinn. I mean the original Harley Quinn that came out, and of course, Batman the Animated Series. Now, going forward, you could mix in a little bit of Harley Quinn from the Harley Quinn show. Or, hell, even a bit of the Joker from the Harley Quinn show, where when they find out about Eerie, it's like two sides of Izuku, or at least two sides of, of course, Mr. J, where you got, of course, the combination of freaking the animated series Joker, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, and, of course, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker on the outside, uh, out there in the field, while back at home, it's basically Harley Quinn's Joker where he's a dad. He legitimately is essentially a stepdad, and he's going to be the best damn stepdad ever. Even if they're not his kids, he's going to be the best damn stepdad ever. Until they see him as a dad, and then, they, and then he becomes the best damn dad ever. That's what I'm saying. And again, it's a... It's a tricky combination, because again, with this, with the Yakuza part, you can legitimately, again, do the whole thing where the Joker is introduced in the frick, in frickin' Dark Knight, and literally do that whole thing. You can have it to where the Yakuza betrayed each other, because again, it's a... He is chaos incarnate, and he is doing all this to get eerie, or, you know, something along those lines. There is so much... That could be done with this. Especially the fact that you have brought in the other DC big ones. I'm talking he brought uh, Seductive Toga. Don't know their fucking gender. I don't care about your fucking gender. Just shut up and die quietly, bullshit. They brought in Scarecrow. Poison Ivy. Well, they're about to bring in Poison Ivy because, again, the Catholic chick in, this, in the anime is now apparently their Poison Ivy, but... Scarecrow, fucking, I think, Killer Croc, I know they brought in Bane. Bane was a good, was a great introduction. And, of course, freaking, again, Deathstroke. Deathstroke, a.k.a. Slade Wilson. I am absolutely looking forward to this. I literally am, because, again, you can have so much fun with this. You really can. Because it, it all depends on how you literally work in the different Jokers. Be it, of course, from again, and I say this, be it from, of course, Cesar Romero's Joker, Jack Nicholson, Mark Hamill, Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix, or even the other incarnations of the Joker. There is so much you can do with this. And I am very much so looking forward to how this turns out. Because again, I am a huge fan of Batman and a huge fan of the Joker. I love the Joker as a character. Be it from the different incarnations of him or the representation of him, if you want to go into a deeper dive of what the Joker represents, go freaking watch some philosophical video. I'm just here to talk about a fan fiction and review it as it is on its own merit. And for Why Aren't You Laughing, it is a a fan fiction that is full of possibilities and some missed opportunities. But all I gotta say is, I'm gonna continue reading it. I will continue reading it, and I will continue to love it. But, until then, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I've been Airsoft Al, the Godman's Airsofter, who reads interesting Joker fan fictions that, honestly, is just fun to read. And if you want to help support the channel, consider donating to the PayPal and or Cash App down below. But if you want to help out the channel and get cool stuff in return, then go check out our referral link to Braytac. Braytac is an Italian grenade company that makes grenade adapters to turn a, uh, literally tag, uh, Thunder Bee shells into 9mm blank firing grenades. Again, all links down below as well as a link to this fan fiction down below as well. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Al, and I shall see you lovely, lovely people in the next video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Till next time. Later.